To create our documentation website, we're going to be using Nux.js. And specifically, we're going to be using the Nux.js content module quite a bit in order to create our documentation website. I'd encourage you to go through the Nux content website and look at the different sections, the different examples, and some of the community snippets integrations that they have. The Nux content documentation website has pretty much everything that you'll really need in order to create the standard documentation website or even a blog if that was something that you're interested in doing. There's even a theme that you could go to on Nux.js content called Docs. To show you a little more of what the template looks like, I'll go to this tab and here you can see the basis of the template, which again, has everything that you need, a landing page, a table of contents on the left. If you drill into one of these, you'll also have the interior table of contents on the right and a way to focus and search through the documentation website. But I'm gonna show you how to create something very similar to this. As I showed you in the previous video, we're gonna create a template that is more reminiscent of the docs.cleaver.io documentation site. Okay, to get started, let's create a new Nux.js project on our device. For instructions, you could go to nuxjs.org, go to the documentation section, and then look over the installation. What we'll do is yarn create nuxdap and then a project name for our documentation site. So let's go ahead and open up our terminal. Okay, let's go ahead and refer to the instructions here. And then in our terminal, type in yarn create nuxdap. And let's call this my docs. Now it's just going to ask us for some questions to finish installation. Let's call this my docs. And then we'll do this in JavaScript. We'll use yarn as our package manager. Let's use Tailwind CSS for our UI framework. And then Axios. And I'll just do the defaults for these couple ones. For this documentation site, I'm going to make it static as opposed to server or server-side rendered. Then you will put in your GitHub username. And it will finish installing the Nux.js project for us. While that's installing, let's go ahead and scroll down on the right here and see what we'll have to do next. Once it's done installing, we're just gonna CD into the project name and then do yarn dev to get it rolling. Right, so CD my docs, there we go. And then yarn dev. And that will run our next project here. So we can see it's running on the client and server and it should just be a couple more seconds for it to be done. Okay, it looks like it's listening on port 3000 on our local. So let's go ahead and go to localhost 3000. And we should see the default site. All right, perfect. Now that we have our new Nux project, let's install the content module. To add the Nux content module, we'll add that within the terminal. So let's go ahead and stop this process. We'll control C to stop it and then type in yarn add at nuxt forward slash content. And this will install the nuxt content package to our project. Okay, looks like it's finished installing. The next thing that we'll do is go to our nuxt.config.js file and add in nuxt content as a module. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this little piece right here. And then we'll open up the project in our IDE. In my case, I'm using IntelliJ. I now have my project open here. So let's go find that config file, which is right here, nux.config.js. Let's find the module section and then go ahead and paste that. All right, well, now that I'm in IntelliJ, they have a little terminal tab at the bottom here. So I'm gonna open that up 
and then just run yarn install to make sure that everything is installed for my project now that I have Nux content in it. And it looks like everything is already there, so I'm good to go. All right, now we have our project hooked up to Nux content, and now the real fun can begin.